Hello, friends. We are here. Is me, Pirate Savvy. And over. And you are on deck, where we play Sons of Multiverse. Um, I would say every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, but that's... We don't that, know anymore. It's just... And we play Sentinel sometimes, okay? Um, it may be at 7 p.m., it may not be. But right now, it is Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Uh, but before we get started, we got, uh, PSA stuff to get through. And Labra, oh, yeah. And Labra believes in civil rights for everybody and being as inclusive as possible. Any comments or activity actively working against that goal is unwelcome and will not be tolerated. You are watching Handle Labra Games. You can follow us at Handle Labra on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And Handle Labra Games right here on Twitch. If you want to see more of me, Pirate Savvy, you can find me on my channel at twitch.tv slash pirate savvy. And you can otherwise find me on Twitter at twitter.com slash pirate savvy. Sentinels of the Multiverse is currently available via Steam for iOS, Android, PC, Mac, and Linux, as well as good old-fashioned analog cardboard and ink. You can get the game and more information at sentinelsdigital.com. Excellent. Well. Well. Let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna play this lady. I know this comes as a shock to you and everyone else here. Hi, Sprockets. Uh, First of all, a warm welcome to those of you who are around. Uh, I'm not sure how many people were aware of the sudden switch from Monday to Wednesday this week. Yeah, it was sort of a, a thing that had to happen for whatever, but um, I also know that a lot of, a lot more, well, I don't say a lot of people, I know a lot of people that might be here also stream on Wednesdays and or like other people I know stream on Wednesday so it's kind of a kind of a weird night for streaming so it's all good we're just gonna sit here and play this game and it's gonna be great I mean I'm gonna have hey, a good time. Sprockets I'm watching you <laughs> Sprockets I'm you you don't know you don't know what happened Sprockets knows Sp Sprockets stuff. don't did a thing Sprockets knows you stuff. You know what you did, Sprockets. Yeah. I imagine. I don't know. Yeah. It involves strawberries, and, you know, I have them now, and oh. I, yeah. I wish I had strawberries. You know, on a day that, you know, I was woken up by uh, the radio telling me that this would be the day that I died. <laughs> Like, literally, it opened on that lyric. I was like, oh. oh, come on. It can't be that day. But no. I got chocolate-covered strawberries, and that's all that matters. That's good. Yeah. It balanced that out really nicely. Aw, thanks, Selfie. Or Selfaria. Selfie. What is it? I'll do it. I, I'm enjoying the game so far. It's, uh... I mean, how can you You better. Not? It is, as I told you, it is the cult class... I know, I feel like the pressure's on to enjoy it. Selfie's fine, okay. <laughs> um, There's really no... It's it's not going to take a lot of effort to enjoy, unless you're, like, the most... Well, maybe I'm looking for something to, you know, be bad with it. I don't know. Look, I, I feel like... I, I was playing uh, this game, Devil Daggers, earlier this week, and it is, like, the opposite of Mario RPG. Where Mario RPG is, you know, charming and intuitive and, you know, just overall fun. Yeah, that game was, you know. Also those things? Uh, no. <laughs> it was like the opposite. Oh. I see. It sounds... I, I put it, I, I put it like this. Some games are, uh... Uh, to borrow heavily from another person who's, um... Oh, don't worry, Teamwork. If you like shopping on schedules, you're gonna love our show for the next indefinite future. <laughs> I mean, but... this, this Monday will be normal. If April Fool's has anything to say about it. Uh, I feel like the April Fool this year, Savvy, is gonna look like the two of us. Yeah, I think that... I feel like that's us every week, though. It's not... Right. At least me. I don't know. Well, as as I was as I was saying, uh, some video games are like a uh, a well crafted dessert, like a fine dining dessert. 
it's well crafted. You put a lot of thought into the effort and all the uh, the uh, the components that went into it, and you can really appreciate it for what it is. Other games are like you know junk food. There's really no value to it. You just you know a lot of small rewards frequently that keep you playing long after you you know you, you reach for another handful, even though you're not really hungry for more. <laughs> um, and then there's that game where it's like sushi. It, it's it's like ordering sushi, and you know it's it's an acquired taste, and you know then instead of giving you sushi, the waiter gives you a live fish and a knife, <laughs> and you're like, uh, what's this? And the waiter says, well, uh, the chef doesn't know how to make sushi. You're gonna have to figure it out on your own. It's like I I have no idea even where to start. And the guy's like, well, look it up on YouTube, and then you'll know how to do it. And walks away, and you never go to that restaurant again. <laughs> so Seems, anyway it's a good it's a good life lesson i guess it's a good analogy yeah accurate enough i like it so uh i have no idea what we're fighting or where we're gonna fight them That's but fine. i i what do you think of bringing out um well, since apparently this is Void Guard number eight, <laughs> what do you think of bringing out the Void Guard and La Commodora? I mean, that would be funny. Yeah. So kind you can of. play uh, two more of the Void Guard, and then I'll play the other two, and it'll be three and two. It'll be that kind of day. Um, I mean, I don't have to play La Commodora. I can just play two of Savvy. the Void Guard. But I just, I mean, I don't have is that, to. Is that true? I think it's true. I don't have to play her. I just always would like to play the pirate lady. It's... I'm folding my arms and looking at you with disapproval. Okay. Well. Um. You gotta stick to your guns or cannons, I guess. Okay. Well. Um, I don't think I've ever played Rithe before. And otherwise, I don't have a giant preference. Um, I played Doctor Medico Malpractice last time, so you can play Doctor Medico this time. I I'll mean, take. Uh, I do like. You list the base day. Okay. Happy Mains Day. I'm gonna. This is gonna be trial by fire, right? I guess it's gonna be fine. Um, All right. Well, uh, speaking of of fire. You gotta figure out who we're fighting. Hold on one second. Hey, Soda Bagoda. All right, what are we what are we looking at? Cause I I let's see. Uh. Team Orchid, I'm going to begin that explanation. Uh, you're going to want to get uh, Concordant Helm out there almost as soon, like as immediately, as soon as you can, because it makes the rest of playing her a lot easier. Um, yes. What Dover said. And then there's another card. Um, Maria Helena's Plot. I think. Uh, That's the one that lets you see the bottom of her deck. The bottom card of your deck and her, her main power uh, has a lot to do with uh, bottom card of a deck. Or, or, I don't know. We'll, we'll actually get back into it as soon as we um, as soon as we get into the game. Yeah, but Dover's right. Like you 100% want um, that concordant helm. Like that's that's like her her like thing. But, and we, I think we talked about this last week, or I, I don't remember if we were on or off stream, but I said, I want to keep playing her because there's a lot of games that, once I've started playing her, there's been a lot of games where I I feel like I haven't been able to do anything uh, because I'm like, well, I don't want to keep discarding all my cards, but like, like, you need to be able to cycle through her deck so you can get her good cards. And so I think by not letting the equipment and stuff go into her trash because she has cards that if you have a lot of equipment in your trash like you can do stuff with it so like I think I just need to sort of let the deck 
play itself, and so we're gonna learn. That's that's why I keep playing her because I want to learn better how to like get the cards I need out quicker. The end. Um. So we could. I know you have your handy dandy spreadsheet, but we could we could Akash or any it again. That's always fun. Uh. Um, let's like let's Akash. I mean, Akash is fairly straightforward. I mean, she kind of almost ate us that other time, so... <laughs> uh, that's because we were in a... Oh, wait, no. It wasn't because we were in a horrible place. The horrible place actually saved us. Yes. Oh, man. A well-timed meteor swarm can save your... Uh, patoot. <clears throat> um... Let's see... When's the last time we were at the dinosaur place? Or we could go to one of the new places. Uh, Champion Studios. Or oh, jeez. Let's, let's do that. Mm-hmm. We should go to one of the new places. The, um, Mer Marinian Refuge? Uh, Champion Studios and the Marinian Refuge are the ones we've already done. Okay. Maybe we should go to Fort Adamant because that's Sentinel's... Uh, I mean, technically not, because we're not playing the Adamant Sentinels, we're playing the Void Guard. But Fort Adamant is kind of on brand for them. That's why they call it Fort Sensible. <laughs> Nexus of the Void is pretty low target. Um, yeah, playing things with not a lot of target, with not a lot of environment targets is probably a good when fighting against the Kosh Buddha. But um, let's learn together. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be fine. You have to read a crash. Oh, uh, do I? I guess you don't have to. Do you want to read read the pirate lady? Uh, not not really, because you're the you're the pirate lady. <laughs> uh, I. I guess I could do both. Man, it's really difficult to... This music is just starting to get to me, Jimmy. I like it. Okay, hold on. How was that? That was... That was a delivery. Like, you delivered those lines. I mean, how is she supposed to talk when she doesn't have a mouth? I mean, maybe she talks with her mind. There's uh, not even a mouth appendage. I don't know. The aliens in To Serve Man didn't didn't have didn't use their mouths, and they had them. Well, they were canimates, though. Oh. Slice the emitter beams and make fast the temporal stays. It is good to be part of a crew once again. Onward. <laughs> Onward. Okay, Kakash. Uh, whenever an environment target enters play, the top card of the villain deck is played. That's awful. Whenever a villain target enters play, the top card of the environment deck is discarded. That seems like a lot of work. Whenever, when the environment trash is shuffled into the environment deck, Akash Buddha flips. She may only flip this way once per turn. Uh, fine. Well, we're not gonna. Let's worry about that later. Let's let. Once again, shout out to John and Jeremy for like figuring out and programming all of this garbage so that like we don't have to do it ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Good job, guys. I, uh, hold on. I'm giving minute. them. I'm giving them a round of. Yeah, there we go. I'm giving them a round of applause too. Yeah. It's not as funny without a webcam. But thank you for the. Um, I appreciate you being on top of it with the soundboard. Yeah, I got it. Don't don't you worry. <laughs> um. All right. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna start. Yeah, I'm gonna start the game. Mountainous carapace. Okay, well, there are worse ways to start things off. Okay. Um. I have. 
Flintlock and Cutlass, which gives me look or Le Commodore deals one target two projectile damage, and Le Commodore deals one target two melee damage, which is delightful. Future Tech Gun, which I like, but is not super helpful right this second. Uh, deals up to five targets one irreducible energy damage. Uh, let me know if the music is too loud for you guys. Like, it's not. It seems okay to me, but if it's too much, let me know. Uh, Maria Helena Slot. This is the card I was talking about. Whenever one of your equipment cards is destroyed, either draw a card or La Commodora deals each villain target one fire damage. So this is great. Um, you may look at the bottom card of your deck at any time, which, if you remember what her power is, um, uh, shuffle a hero deck. So, like, if, you know, you can check what the card is because her concordant helm lets you, I think it's, I think it's the concordant helm, lets you take whatever's on the bottom of the deck and put it in your hand. So you can check with this card what's on the bottom of the deck so you know whether or not you want to use this particular power. Um, Plus there's, there's that card, um, there's that way anchor card, which lets mm. you look at the bottom card of your deck and, like, if it's an equipment card, you can do it more than once. Yes. Um, and then run aground which, um, this is the one that I was talking about. It says, shuffle any number of equipment cards from your trash into your deck. La Commodora deals one target X irreducible energy damage, where X equals the number of cards shuffled into your deck this way, plus one. So if you've just been dumping all of your, um, uh, equipment cards into your trash, this card will actually be super helpful. Right now, it is not. I'm gonna go ahead and play, um, her Maria Helena's plot now. Um, because that's that's the good that's the one, and I'm gonna skip her power because there's nothing in anybody's trash, so there's not really a point. Right. It's shovel a hero deck, select a card from that deck's trash, put it under the top card of the deck. So like, that's helpful for anybody. <clears throat> oh, way anchor. Yeah. See, there it is. Okay, so uh, the idealist has uh, uh, better punching times two. Uh, idealist deals one target, one irreducible melee damage, and then you may use power. If that power deals damage, that damage is irreducible. Put this card under a concept in play. So for those of un uninitiated, she has concepts and she has fragments. Uh, concept like this karate robot. Destroy all cards under this card. This The Idealist deals one target X melee damage and X psychic damage, where X is the number of cards destroyed this way, plus one. And then, Vivid Thoughts. Reveal the top three cards of your deck. Put any revealed concepts and fragments into your into play. Put the other revealed cards into your hand. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play the Curity Robot first. Yay. And let's see, draw a card, you may put a fragment from your hand under a concept in play, and then uh, the damage. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to just start whittling away at this carapace. Do it. So with Writhe, what you're going to want to do is get a Shadow Cloak into play early and often. It helps increase his damage and decrease the damage dealt to him and he's like uh not counting the sentinels as they as a united card uh he has pretty much the lowest hit points of any hero currently available so okay ride deals one target he's got two copies of fight and fade ride deals one target Two infernal damage. Search your deck and trash for the shadow cloak and put it into play. If you searched your deck, shuffle your deck. You may play a card. So that seems like a solid play. Uh, Umbral Siphon. Uh, right deals one target, one melee damage, and one infernal damage. The target dealt the da damage this way cannot regain hit points until the start of your next your turn. Okay. Uh, unnerving target. The first time right is dealt damage by a non-hero target each turn. The source of that damage deals itself to psychic damage. That seems fun. All right, but I'm gonna do this this first one because you said I should get my shadow cloak into play right away. Yes. I'm gonna hit this this mountainous carapace thing. Yeah, keep a uh -huh. doing it. I did it. Success. Oh. 
You may play a card. I can play another card. Should I play this the siphon equipment? Yeah, that umbral siphon is nice. Yeah. Right deals one target, one melee damage, and one infernal damage. Target delta can already hit. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Um, what is his power? Search your deck or trash for the shadow cloak and put it into play. Shuffle your deck. Wow, I'm gonna umbral siphon then. I'm gonna. Should I hit Akash or um? Keep going after the carapace. The carapace. We're, we'll deal okay. more damage that way. Well, I think I just was wondering since it prevents it from healing. Although I guess she's at full health right now, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Pretty nice starting hand for Ride. I agree. I've never played Ride before, and that seems pretty solid. Yeah, this is the kind of starting hand where you know you're. It's like, hey, I'm doing pretty well, and then immediately, <clears throat> Akash Buddha plays uh, that card that like gets rid of all of your stuff. Yeah. So let's see here. Uh, hey, bad Silk. of the bone. It's going hey, pretty Silka. good. Indeed. Uh. Increased damage dealt by Mainstay this turn by one. Mainstay deals one target, two melee damage. <clears throat> uh, Durasteel Studded Vest. Reduced damage to Mainstay by one. When this card is destroyed, Mainstay regains two hit points. Uh, Shard Strength. Increased damage dealt by Mainstay by one. Reduce the first damage dealt to Mainstay each turn by one. At the start of your turn, Mainstay deals himself two toxic damage. When this card is destroyed, you may use a power. And Void Belter. When this card is destroyed, main oh. state deals one target, two projectile, and two fire damage. Main state deals one target, three melee damage. You may destroy one of your ongoing or equipment cards. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this is a pretty good starting hand for main state, too. Yeah, it's looking pretty uh, good. Yeah, I'm just gonna start with the Durasteel Studded Vest because. Because, yeah. Take a swing. All right, I got Doctor's Orders. Doctor Medical heals himself one, or deals himself one energy damage. One hero character other than Doctor Medical regains two hit points. Uh, that hero may use a power. Okay, probably not good for right now. Flare up. Uh, Doctor Medical deals one target three energy damage, and Doctor Medico and one other hero regain uh, each regain one hit point. Do we? Has anybody taken damage yet? I feel nope. like no. Yeah. Nope. The first turn was spent entirely by throwing out that mo mountainous carapace and. Uh, <laughs> It is not long for this world. Uh, then, uh, Life Force of Will. Dr. Medico deals himself two energy damage. Each hero uh, card other than Dr. Medico may either regain two hit points or use a power. That's... I'd say save that for next turn, or... Yeah. And then Universal Donor. Uh, whenever Dr. Medico is dealt damage, a hero target other than Dr. Medico regains one hit point. Uh, Ooh, one, chuck that out there. Yeah, one target regains two hit points. Yeah, that seems like something solid to... Put out there right away. Yeah. And what's his power again? Uh, select a target. The next time that target regains hit points, increase that amount, uh, the amount regained by two. Um, I guess I'll just skip uh, his power because. Oh no no no! I, you should use it just to prep for later. Like use his base power and like just put it on. I, I say put it on Rive because he's got the lowest hit points, and those hit points are gonna go down fast. Or or you could. Use it on uh, Medico himself because Medico. Uh, you, you've seen how <laughs> quickly his hit points go down. Yeah. So maybe I'll just keep using it on himself until something else. Right, and then he can use up. Universal Donor on himself to, you know. Yeah. Ooh, another Life Force of Will. That seems good. Not I the like greatest hand, going. but far from a brick for him. Yeah. Yeah. That, at least you had like something to do, you know. Code okay. name. Okay. Radioactivist. radioactivist. Jinx you. Oh. Oh, this is. This is fine. It's probably fine. Well, no, it's good that it shows up early in the game. <laughs> All right, what does the this do? This radioact. Uh, whenever this card is dealt damage, increase the next damage dealt by this card by one. Oh, I don't like that. At the end of the environment turn, this card deals. The non-environment target with the second highest hit points, two toxic damage. Well, that seems terrible. Okay, at the start of the villain turn, Akash deals all non-villain targets. Is that five psychic damage? If all active heroes take damage this way, destroy this card. Um, yeah, we, we gotta bite it. Just, you know. Ugh, all right. 
Well, it's not I was great, one, but we got a deal. I was complaining about how no one had damage, I guess. Discard a card. Why do I have to discard a card? Uh, you have the option. The first time Rither be dealt damage each turn, you may discard a card. If you do, prevent that damage. Um. I don't know. First time. I feel like we can heal that up pretty quick. Just so I might I think, well just Yeah, I, I think I think we'll be fine. Like I said, it's good that this shows up at the beginning of the yeah. game as opposed to I'll skip it this time. And just go ahead and heal up Rise by yeah, one. I was gonna anyway. say I'll just I'll Or should I use it wait. Oh yeah, it has to be someone other. Ugh. What is this? Uh, destroy f Oh, is those all of them gone? Yep. See, well, that's the problem. When well, you, like, when you get a good starting... When you get a good starting hand... <sighs> you know exactly what's gonna happen. Because you almost, you almost want to use your, like, second best cards. Because you yeah. know that the first card they're gonna get is gonna destroy all your setup. Now I'm just gonna throw out way anchor, I guess, because fortune favors bold, right? Sure, why not? It's gonna be fine. Oh, ship shape. That's actually not like that's, that could be worse. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we got stuff in our discards. Uh, I'm going to select. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and take that card back that I like. Sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna blame you for it. Give me this. Give me my card back. All right. <clears throat> All right. So my curity <laughs> robot is gone. <laughs> yes, you're playing the lady that can bring stuff back. Exactly. Hedge hogs. Hedge hogs. Okay. First card to put into play. Flying stabby knives. Second card to put into play. Bright idea. Yay! The curity robot. It's back. Hooray. In hog form. <laughs> it's like it How never like happened. Exactly. Sort of. Kind of. No. Uh. Uh. I, I feel like Mainstay can deal with the radioactivist. Okay. Uh, I would like him to. As long as somebody can, that's the key. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hope that, you know, I really shouldn't gamble, but I'm gonna. It's fine. What do we say? Fortune favors both. Hey, Gianna girl. Welcome to this Wednesday night special. Hey, Gianna girl. Okay, so, uh... You got your Shadow Cloak out, you got your Umbral Siphon out. Like, all this is good stuff. Um... What is this? Uh, unnerving target. The first time Ride is dealt damage by a non-hero target, you turn the source of that damage. Deals itself to psychic damage. I'm thinking about maybe that one. Uh, cloak Projector. Select a target. Reduce damage dealt by that target by one until the start of your turn. You may destroy... The Shadow Cloak, if you do, right, deals that target three infernal damage. Eh. I'll put out the other one. Get out there, unnerving target. Uh... You know what, Team Orchid? There, there's, like, there's some erroneous aspect to what you've said. It's, like, too bad this isn't Oblivion. It's like, okay, well, Oblivion... This book would already be dead, and we would be on, like, our second and a half group. 
<laughs> oh, hey, King Banhammer. Uh, ride deals one target, one melee damage, and one inferno damage. Oh, wait, come back. I, I'm trying. I was, I was reading. Game. Should I hit Akash, or should I hit the thing? No, hit, hit Akash. Like I said, mainstay can deal with, okay. uh, with Chuckles up there. I'm gonna do it. Okay, get some shard strength out there. Do it. Game got real quiet. <laughs> he is dead. Okay, so um, maybe um, oh jeez, one hundred eighty-four hit points. Yeah, well, she's a, kind of a mountain, literally. Okay. Um, I forgot that that donor thing is gone. I wish um, it wasn't, but you yeah, know. I can um. I mean, I have a way to put it back, so. Uh, Dr. Medico deals himself two energy damage. Each hero character other than Dr. Medico may either regain two hit points or use a power. I'm thinking about that one. Flare up. Dr. I'm thinking Medico, flare up. Yeah, Dr. Medico deals one target three energy damage. Dr. Medico and one other hero target each regain one hit point. Um, yeah, I'm thinking flare up because he gave himself that boost before, right? Yeah. Okay. So it goes until the end of his turn? Right. Alright. We'll punch Akash. A healed. Um, Writhe, I guess, right? Yeah. I'm thinking Writhe. Okay, I'm oh. gonna use his power on... I was gonna say Ride, but he's 17, so I guess I'll just... I don't know. Maybe I'll Medico again. Yeah. The struggles. The struggles, you guys. General Armstrong. He looks shifty. Well, no, he's actually on our side, I think. Probably. Doesn't mean he can't look shifty. Alright. Yeah, don't worry, Orchid. We're, we're a step ahead of you on that front. <clears throat> yeah. Reduce damage dealt to this card and hero targets by environment targets by one. Whenever a subject enters play, each player may draw a card. At the end of the environment turn, this card deals the villain target with the lowest hit points to projectile damage. Well, that's nice. This guy seems helpful. Meh. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Ha! Stupid thing dealt with self damage. <laughs> it's part of your turn. You may discard a card. If you do, you may no, draw. This a is card. always. This is. I don't understand this particular ability. Like, why? Ever. What's what's the uh? At the start of your turn, you may discard a card. I'm, tr I'm trying to read, game. If you do, one of your equipment or ongoing cards in play, or put one of your equipment or ongoing cards in play on top of your deck, and then play the top card of your deck. Uh, I think maybe it has something to do with the, um, the, what do you call it, um... The, the helm? 
Not not the helm. Uh, the the figurehead. Oh, it changes the order of activation. And I suppose you could relocate the figurehead at, at your, yeah. as you see fit. Hmm. Good point. These are all valid points. Well, I'm not doing it this time. I... I'm thinking the cannon. Because you don't have enough uh, what do you call it? You don't have a, you don't want to have any damage buffs to make the future tech gun. No, I was gonna flintlock worthwhile. and cutlass though. Oh yeah, well, that's also a thing. Yeah. But may maybe the cannon portal first, and then flintlock and cutlass, so that you can be dealing more damage in a single turn, like just the setup. That's like the reason I put out the Durasteel vest first before I started. Uh, giving Mainstay his attack buffs and stuff. It's the setup for the later payoff. Yeah. But then I have to start discarding cards is kind of the thing. Which I guess but, is, which I said was fine, but... I was gonna say, it's not really a big deal because you have ship shape, and the more you're discarding cards, the more you're drawing. So you might draw yeah. into Concordant Helm more quickly. This is true. This is true. And you're gonna be drawing into uh, what do you call it, Maria Helena's plot. Yeah. Next, anyway. Game, stop timing out what I'm doing. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Game. Uh. Oh. Um. Medico, Medico. Medico. Yeah. I'm like, wait. We had a plan with this. Get. Out of my dreams and under the top card of my deck. <laughs> um, living rock slide. Yeah. Start whittling that thing down. It's dumb, and it's stupid. You it did it. And it's stupid. And it's dumb. Okay, let's see. Um. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna make things up. <laughs> okay, I'm a big fan of most of what I just saw. Okay, so I'm gonna discard that and discard um Oh man. Tough choice. I'll discard that also, I Ooh, guess. You have like, lots of cards. Uh. I literally will not, well, I don't say literally will not ever, but I think the idealist is one of those characters that I'm like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Team Orchid, I'm, I'm going to say that uh, it does help with her versatility to have one of each of the concepts out there, but I'm more of a guy who likes to specialize, which unfortunately, when that tactic gets, uh, like, removed from, you know, whatever, when I've sunk all of my eggs into that basket. Tragedy. But, you know... Uh, I guess I'm gonna throw this cloak projector out there. What's that nowhere... 
nowhere to hide do. Um, just for my sake. Riot deals one target three irreducible infernal damage, which is good. If the shadow cloak is in play, damage dealt to that target is irreducible until the end of your turn. Uh, you may use a power, but I only have... I mean, I have two powers, but the one is to... One of them is useless. Just to get your cloak, which I already currently have. So, yeah, so. The, the cloak projector is a uh, good plan. Hey, Citizen! Hey, Citizen! How you doing? Yeah, so I figured I'll just put that out there. Why do I feel like I'm not getting any cards? Uh, because he's already got basically all the... Ban him. I'm sorry. Hey, how you doing? Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Well... I'm gonna play this. This is umbral siphon. See, now you have two different powers. I do. Yeah. So next turn I could potentially use the thing. Bye. That's actually a really good question, Cross. Yeah, uh, we were just talking about that today. I'm not I'm not sure. <laughs> That's above our pay grade to know, I suppose. Yeah, I I meant to ask and I forgot. I don't know if that's something we're supposed to know. I don't know if uh, anybody else knows. Ooh, tragedy, right? Mmm, dinner. There's a link on when they're starting that. Okay, so yeah, they're, so they're just gonna roll them out again. I uh, I was wondering about that. There are probably more efficient ways of doing that, but I only wasted one point of damage, I suppose. And I dealt 12 in the process, so whatever. Hey, I mean, damage is damage. It's fine. Uh, let me... Hey, it's my turn. Uh, doctor's orders on the idealist would not be entirely unwelcome. Dr. Medico deals into one energy damage, one hero character card, other than Dr. Medico regains two hit points. That hero may use a power. Um, I, I'm totally down with that. However, um, wouldn't it be better to have his power on her and then use it on her? Do you know what I'm saying? Rather That's yeah. You're you're not. No one's gonna uh, take advantage of the the buff this turn if we use that. Right. What is from? Oh, from the brink. When damage reduce a hero to ugh. I basically. Well, I mean, I guess we do lose character sometimes, but like. That's one of those cards that it's like. Um. He could also pull regeneration at some point, which yeah. you know would help him a lot. But, I don't know. Sure, you you yeah. can't play a game hoping you'll pull one particular card. Yeah, I'm That's just gonna... Another... Yeah, I'm gonna use Life Force of Will, and that'll at least give her a little bit of a buff. Everybody else. Oh, yeah. And then um, I can use Doctor's Orders on her next turn, maybe? Yes. Uh, I think... It, or, oh, who wants to do... Uh, I'll... So, yeah, we'll, we'll just go in order. Okay. Commodora, I assume, is just going to heal. Yeah. I, I think... I think everybody could just stand to heal. Uh, I mean, I guess it's up to you. You do what you want. Because I'll use her... Yeah, she's 16 hit points, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Yeah. Yeah, everybody's not low, but sort of less... Not mainstay, though. Mainstay is going to wreck shop. <laughs> Uh, that is a question, Blue, you probably want to ask on the main show or, um, one of our other channels, because Dover and I don't know a lot about the Oblivion stuff. Or, Oh, I, perhaps, I know some things about the Oblivion, but, um... Perhaps 
Well, then perhaps you know the answer to said question. No, I don't. What I <laughs> The only thing I know is to, you know, keep my distance. All right, I am not the person on... who has the strength. You want me to use this on Idealist this time, you said? Uh, or I, I could do it on Mainstay. Uh... Nah, just, uh, idealist, because, um, look at it this way. La Commodora has the highest hit points. Yeah. Idealist has no buffer and the lowest, I guess, aside from Dr. Medico. Uh, oh, like matter of fact, you know what? You Use it on Dr. Medico right now, because, uh, there are other ways to heal the other people, but only so many ways he can heal himself. He's gonna get, uh... Uh, what do you call it? Um, universal donor back. So he can use that power to heal himself. And then he'll get the buff from last turn. Okay. Oh, I got regeneration. Yes. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. Top card. Never mind. I was like, wait a minute. It's, yeah, it's under to... the top card. Yeah. Bionic Pat Roller. Living King, rock slide. King Van Hammer, knowing with knowing the answer. This is good. I knew someone would know, or know, ish. I've never played. Like I've no, I don't know anything about Oblivion, like at all, aside from that it's like general no a game mode, <laughs> a game mode. I I didn't even know that Oblivion Oblivion was like. A, a act like a person, like it's not a person. Obviously, it's like I didn't realize it was like a. a thing. You didn't know it was a thing. I thought it was just the name of the event, <laughs> like, not that it was an actual like living thing destroying the world. So don't no, ask I, me anything about Oblivion. No, I li I listened to the um. I listened to the uh, the podcasts. I listened to the entire storyline, and I I just have. I have questions. <laughs> questions that I'm sure Christopher and Adam do not want to... They do not want to engage me in them. Uh, um... Okay, so discard a card for Wait. the cannon portal. Well, I don't want to do that. Well, I'm discarding well, for ship shape first. I don't want to do that. Well, yeah, you don't want to do that. I guess run aground. Like run aground is not helpful. Yeah, you don't for have a long enough time. For... Yeah. Oh, I got another cannon portal. How exciting! Cool. Well, I can discard that for the cannon portal cool, next bro. time, I guess. Um. So now, do I want to? I'm. I'm gonna put her Maria Helena's plot back out, I guess, and hope that it doesn't yeah. get destroyed again immediately because that's annoying. Right. Um. I, I said... wish I could get rid of that in tomb, but. Get rid of the entomb. I wish we could. But oh yeah, I was like, I don't have, have that no manner, card that no can do that yet. It. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's. We're in for rough seas ahead. Generally Bottom card of your deck is Concordant Helm. Ugh. Well, where's? I need that to get that. This is terrible news. I don't know what to do now. Well, like, what are your choices? Well, no, I can just use her power. Like, that, like I, like I know that one of her concordance helms is at the bottom of her deck now. So do I? I mean, I guess if I pulled away anchor, wouldn't that put that out? No. Yes. Yes, because it's. What does it do? Well, her only power is to shuffle the deck, select a card from that card's trash, put it under the top card of the deck. So, there's really no. Well, I th like one of the, it's, I think it's her concordant helm is what lets her pull whatever card from the bottom of the deck and put it in her hand, or put it. Team in... Orchid, I completely forgot he had kicked the tires. Crisis averted. Where? I mean, I would have gotten to it anyway, but you know. Good that you were paying attention. So that I could not spend another three hero turns 
fretting over <clears> what we're going to do about that, and then eventually the joy of discovery. So you took that away from me, Team Orchid. I'm shaking my fist at you. Oh, this is so annoying. Just skip the power phase. The, the, the power is not... Well, like... Mm. Okay, well, I'm putting this into play next turn, so... Free card draws are fun. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Strain Super Ego. At the end of your turn, either move a card from under a concept in play to under another concept in play, or destroy one concept in play with no cards under it. Then, you may draw a card or use a power. <clears throat> Man. Uh, focusing Tiara. At the start of your turn, you may either draw a card or put a card from your hand under a concept in play. Whenever you use a power afterward, you may put a card from your trash under a concept in play. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, um... Um... Oh, man, I forgot that you can only do that with, um... Huh, eeny, meeny, miny, you. <laughs> Just in case. My turn. I yeah, think. it is. I was trying to find out about the variants again. Um, what did I say I was gonna do? Oh, what's the lurking shadows? You may draw a card. If the cloak is in play, select a target. Increase damage dealt by rise to that target by one until the start of your turn. You may use a power. Um, you've got like two options. <laughs> I like both of them. So, they, like, they're basically the same. Well, that's a lie. Draw a card. I think I'll know where to hide, because then I can finish off that thing. Or, I mean, I guess... Hmm... I guess it's gonna be a waste of damage either way. Unless I throw it all on a kosh. I could. That target by one. Ugh, whatever, I'll just play this. I'm gonna zip this thing. Yes. Good hit this, plan. Hit this lady. A couple times. I can use another power. Project that cloak. I will. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna um, destroy it, though. Probably. No. Don't do that. Well, 
Well, I think I'll know exactly what uh, ride is going to be playing next turn. <laughs> okay, so uh, Void Belter deals damage, leader of the pack, redirects damage to mainstay, and kick the tires. You may draw a card. You may destroy an ongoing or an equipment card. If you destroy one of your cards this way, you may play a card. Hey, and Tomb, want to see something cool? Maybe. Should have said no, I just killed it. Oh. Okay, real quick, what is this training facility? What does this do? Increase damage dealt by environment targets by one. At the end of the environment turn, each player may discard a card. Any player that discards a card this way may use each power printed on a character card in their play area. What the hell? Okay. That seems fun. Any player that discards a card may use their power. Oh. Alright. Um, alright, what do we got? We got, um... Doctors. Hey, for effort. That's that's a lot of love. Hey, friend. It's very much appreciated. All right, doctor's orders from the brink is not helpful. Life force of will regeneration at, at the start of your turn. Draw two cards. A power. Uh, at the start of your turn, draw two cards. Use a power and destroy this card. At the end of each turn, Doctor Medical regains two hit points. Is this worth it to use right now? Uh, probably not. I'm thinking life force of will again. Yeah. I wish I would have used his power on somebody else then. Well, no, like. You can. Oh, never mind. Don't worry about it, it's alright. Um. This is part of Dr. Medical. You're, you're learning the strategy behind it. Well, uh, no, well, the, like, because we talk, I mean, we, I. Whatever, our thinking was muddled. Yeah. You listened to me, that was your first mistake. <laughs> That's not true. I, um, I just don't, um, you're trying to plan ahead, so, like, I would rather not... I'd rather not use any of these. I'd rather save them and use a... Like, make his healing more helpful on everybody else. But it's better to do something than nothing. If you have options to do something, even if it isn't as good as, you know... Yeah. As it would be, it's better to do something than to do nothing. I don't know. I saw. I watched Christopher Robin, and sometimes the best somethings come from nothing. Is it was I also a Disney movie that that, <laughs> that said that vacation for you know unpaid vacation for its employees was like a good thing. So we know that movie was full of nonsense. Hmm. But also, it was cute. <laughs> it was cute, I'll give it that. Although, I, I just, again, again, and I hate to do this because, you know, but why is it that, like, Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, and Eeyore, and, and I suppose Kang and Roo, they were all like plush animals but owl was an actual owl like owl wasn't like a real creature so does that mean that the the owl toy that christopher robin had was an actual stuffed owl like or or was it that like i'm confused i don't know i don't know but also, but, well, I don't want to live in a future where Disney owns everything. I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> I'm already, I, I'm already not. Okay, this is. I can't. I, I'm not pleased that they bought Fox. Like, 
or that they own all of that now. It's fine. We're not going to get into that right now. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to use... What's his... Hold on. What is his max hit points? How do I check that? I figured out. 24. So... Hey, Bishop. Um... Okay, I'm going to use his power on someone else. Who needs it most? Uh, this is our new day for today. We have no idea where things are going to be going forward. So, you know. Yeah, today um, we just moved to Wednesday because I was able to. The, the other time uh, we had to just cancel was because my mom was here. And so we couldn't move to Wednesday. It was... Um, we didn't have the option to move to Wednesday. So this week is Wednesday. Next week we're back to Monday. Um, and then we'll just see what, what, where, where the cards fall. See what Ooh. I did there? Cause it's, we're playing a card game. Okay. Well, uh, at this point I am not a hundred percent sure, uh, who to throw his power at. So I'm just going to let you listen to your heart and figure it out. kind of sucks because, you know, next turn Universal Donor and Regeneration are both yeah. valid choices. It's going to be fine. It's okay, cool. be fine. Oh, um... Whenever the subject is destroyed... Wait. Hold on. What does that do? At the end Whenever of the... a subject is destroyed, restore each other subject and researcher to their max hit points. The first time a non-subject environment card enters play each turn, play the top card of the environment deck. Okay, that's... Yeah, that'd be great if that could, you know, not happen. What is that? The other environment card? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Foundry. Okay. Uh, okay, let's let's try this out. At the end Main of the thing? environment turn, each player may discard a card. Each player that discards a card this way... I was reading. I was reading game. Uh, may use each power printed on... May use each power on a printed character card in their play area. So we don't have to use all of them. Um, I would skip La Commodora. Does she? She only has her base power, right? Right. I. Doctor Medico probably not. Well, I could do. I could, and then use his power on himself. And then I could have it on two people. But I don't know what cards he has to even discard. That's from the brink, maybe. But I'm not sure. Yeah, from the brink is the best yeah, choice do it. for. Um. And then skip for the last two. You don't think Riot should? Or, or actually, Riot. Yeah. I was Rye, gonna say he's got lots thinking. of stuff. <laughs> well, not lots of stuff. Maybe to, to. What is this? Probably fight and fade. Yeah. Or, yeah, fight and fade. Skip. Okay, so skip. All right. So start. Punching the big uh, elemental lady. Yes, expatriate would be great with this power. I agree. She'd be like, "Oh, it's only on their character card." Okay. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, then I shouldn't have probably have wasted. Ryan. Well, don't worry. It's at, at least we all know. We've learned. Disappointing. It's only on the character card, not on, like, other cards that are. that belong to that character. Disappointing. And then, yeah. Okay, may maybe skip back. And then not. I mean, not like we were gonna use those cards for anything anyway. That's fine. Where do we want to skip back to? 
Uh, end of turn, I think. Okay, so, Mainstay is definitely discarding because he likes punching things. Uh, Idealist, because I'm satisfied with where that went. Uh, and then, not La Commodora, not uh, Rise, because Medico. it's just the... And then Medico. Skip. <laughs> I'm satisfied with where that went. <laughs> And oh, then... yeah, that would be great for aim. Oh, my gosh. Music is fun. I'm, I'm really... I'm, I'm waiting for the parade to show up. Yeah. <laughs> soon is here to punch and chew bubblegum. Yes. I would figure Mainstay would have to give up bubblegum because of all that fail here he's got going on. All right, what you got? What you got for us? More of this? Each non-villain target three projectile damage. Well, that's stupid. I don't want to take all this ow, damage. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Okay. Skip. Whoops. Skip. Um, I guess I'll discard cannon portal <laughs> for my cannon portal. Ooh, Paradoja figurehead. How exciting. Okay. Um. At the start of your turn. Okay. Uh, at the end of your turn, up to three players may each draw a card. Ugh, I don't know what to do. Uh, I could throw out. I really like. I just feel like I never get my figureheads out there. But I also want to draw cards, so I guess I'll put that out there. Okay. Or I could flintlock and cutlass. Actually, ugh. that would get that rock slide down to one. I don't know. This is this is hard. Life is really hard, you guys. Decisions are hard. You know what? Let's just let's just mm. wait. Can you turn it up to three player maybe draw a card? I'm doing this. Okay, good. I'm just gonna punch a bunch of things next time. This is gonna be fine. Me! Uh, Dr. Medico. Yeah, just let's to say Medico. Try and get some of his... Healing pulse! There we go. Sweet. Um. Is anybody like her? I mean. I guess I could do Writhe, unless Mainstay uh, or Idealist needs anything. Idealist, I think. Okay. Okay, uh... Put a card from hand under Concept in Play.
<laughs> Cat heads are powerful. This is true. <laughs> so good. Okay. Hey, Savvy. Hi. Uh, check out that, uh, uh, what do you call it? Grasping Shadow Cloth card. When this card enters play, move one card from a trash pile to the bottom of its deck. You may destroy the Shadow Cloak. If you do, cards cannot be played from that deck. At the start of your turn, shuffle this card card and your trash into your deck. Are we gonna not let Akash uh, play any cards? Like, that would be a super shame if that were to happen, you I know? I know. It would be. I mean, you know. Okay, when this card enters play, so we play this card. So we move one card from a trash pile to the bottom of from its deck. From Akash Buddhas. Um... How about in Tomb? Oh yeah, that, that one was great. Um, <laughs> I know how much you like that. What about Either the flanges or the carapace? I, I, I feel say... the carapace. Cause... Yeah, I was looking at the carapace. What's the other one? Deal with damage. damage. Does the Reduce damage dealt to Akash by one. Is that does that count to the like the limbs too, or just? Yeah. No. Well, let's just do yeah. the. But at the same time, it, it doesn't deal us damage when she plays it. Yeah, but we can heal damage. Mm. Uh, sure. Sorry, Akash. That seems. And then use your base power to get the cloak back. Oh, whoops! Or... I didn't. Eh. Eh. Deal. I I would Although... I, I forgot that I already. Do you want to go back? I do. And make sure to grab it from the trash instead of your deck, cause it ain't there. Because <laughs> it's not there. Do you only have one Shadow Cloak? Right. Oh. You only have the one. Well, that's good. Yeah. Okay, destroy an ongoing or environment card. So that's our anti entomb. Okay, um. Okay, now you are spoiled for choice. I know. And since it's this, and then the environment, and then Kosh Buddha or whatever. Okay, what uh, is. Hold on. Uh, whenever. I actually gotta hit the restaurant. I'll be right back. Okay. After that, and my push ups. <laughs> <laughs> whenever Dr. Meadow goes to damage, a hero target other than Dr. Meadow goes to 
one target regains two hit points. I'm going to do healing pulse at the end of your turn. Up to three targets regain one hit point. Dr. Medico deals himself two energy damage. Um, each hero. Hmm. I'm wondering if... Hmm. I need to regenerate. I need to do regeneration soon. If not this turn, next turn. So I... Okay, I think I'm in a healing pulse. I think that's the best way to go. There are no bad choices here. Yeah. Um, but I have um, his power. I think if this is it was so long ago, his power should be on idealist and himself. So I want to pick something that I can you I can take advantage of both of those things is what I'm thinking of. So that's why I'm like, okay, universal donor is not helpful to for that purpose, and neither is regeneration. So I think healing pulse is um, probably the best option in theory if that will even work oh I guess it won't work because we're already at the end of the turn <sighs> that's annoying That's all right, I'll leave it. We're gonna regen next turn. And only now in this late hour are our trademark cards. Why didn't he heal himself? Because I'm going to regen next turn. I'm going to have all the hit points. I'm going to have hit points for days. Oh, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out if I made the wrong choice, team. Uh... Yeah, I know I can use his power on himself. Um, that's what I'm gonna do it next time. I'm waiting for the day to come up so I can switch my sub over. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. You know what? I could have just um, hit. Akash, and then gotten his, uh, discarded something maybe to get the, the cloak back during this thing. I think I'm just gonna... S I'm just gonna skip. Okay. From everybody. Akash can't play cards in medical, but fine. Exactly. Exactly. It's just whether the environment does something. <laughs> kind of like that. Um, that's fine.
Okay. Uh, skip that. Cannon portal. Uh, I'm just gonna throw this this other future tech gun away. There's not like a lot. Uh, timeless treasure. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The end of your turn. Field top card of each hero deck. Shuffle one card from a trash into its deck. Put the top card of that deck into play. Eh, I'll do. I'm gonna get rid of this, I guess. Okay. I feel like that card has massive potential. It's just never, you know. I just. I personally don't like cards that are uncertain like that. I agree, like, it could be fun, but I'm. I like to know what I'm. I like to know what's going to happen. And there's a lot of cards in people's decks that it's like, ah, I don't want to play that yet. You know, so it's sort of. For me, not something I'm willing to take the chance on, I guess. Um, Figurehead, please. Yeah, that's what I'm... I'm... I never get to, like, I'm not taking full advantage of, like, her damage that I can... She can do right now. Oh, Concordant Helm. I wish you weren't at the bottom of my deck, but you are. Do we want to get rid of Char? What is Char doing? Whenever a security guard enters play, this card deals each target one infernal damage. At the end of environment turn, this card deals each hero target with the or deals the tarot target with the highest hit point to energy. Then this card deals each. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him. You're you shouldn't have been standing there. Yeah. Me. Uh, wait, wait. Oh wait, those no, you're drawing cards. Never mind, never mind. You're cool. Uh, Medico, I guess. Hey, healing pulse. Uh, what else? Um, not feeling so rubbing our face in it. Idealist, please. Idealist again. Oh, you're taking my figurehead. Please. It'll be fun, I promise. Okay, put a card from him under concept in play. Okay. All of it. All the carity. <laughs> Whatever the deck char is kind of a jerk. <laughs> You're not wrong. So here, let's make some things up. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, I don't know if he's got enough cards under the robot. Okay, so I'm not going to play another one of those carity robots. One game is taking us our entire time slot. <laughs> Savvy? One thing you gotta learn. Hey, Kosh Buddha. Check this out.
What are you doing? You picked a cop. I know. <laughs> that was fun. Hey, consider it a feature length movie. <clears throat> Besides, I got a chocolate covered strawberry. I don't know what the. Well, let go, Goofy. Here. Alright, what do we got? You may destroy an ongoing environment card. I don't think there's anything we need to destroy yet. Um, you may draw a card. If lurking, if the shadow cloak is in place, select the target, increase damage, double by right to that target by one until the start of your turn. I'll I'm gonna do that. I mean, 36 damage is peanuts compared to what some of the other handlobber streamers throw out there. But, hey... For on deck, you know. I'm gonna hit this this lady. I'm gonna hit this mountain lady over here. Yeah. I'm gonna. Reduce damage by the char guy, I think. Well, no, he's dead. He's oh, he's, he's gonna, gonna die. die. Okay. Yeah, he's he's not gonna make it. <laughs> uh. Nah. Nah. No. Ski Torque smacky. So let's see. Char strength is back out there. And um. Hey, Char. <laughs> that was some excellent punching. That's, you know, that's what he does. Got me a headlock. So, what you gonna do about it? So, yeah, uh, re regenerate. <laughs> uh, you yeah. might want to regenerate. Yeah, we're gonna do that now. Uh, healing pulse, though. Okay, wait. If the start of your turn, draw two cards, use a power, and destroy skirt. The end of your turn. Okay, or the end of each turn. I was. I, oh. I know what you said, but I. This was my plan that I said okay. when you were away last turn that I was going okay, to cool. use his power on himself, and then I will. I would heal him all the way up, and then that would make me feel better. Okay. And then we'll, cause he's very low, and then we'll go from there, and then next time we'll heal everybody. Up to three targets regain one hit point each. Um. Well. I guess this lady here, and this lady here, and uh, this gentleman here. That's funny how the, the picture went. So like, oh! Aggressive volunteering. At the end of the environment turn, discard the top two cards of the... Oh dear. This is fine. This guy again? Um. I don't 
think I want to do any of this. The David Carradine robot. Um, happy Mains Day. And so you don't want to do any of these. That would make sense. Is that to use our power thing? Right. Then no. Right. Yeah. Um, this is this music is like I like it, but it's like I feel like it cuts away the intensity somewhat. I know. Target enters play. Akash Buddha regains hit points equal to that target. Well, guess what we've got? We got something for that. Oh, Silver Gulch music is awesome. Uh, well, you never play Brig Teleporter anyway, so. Nope. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Get in there. I'll discard Timeless Treasure for Timeless Treasure. Okay. Um. Ugh, I'll just hit Akash. Get out there. Get- I th oh wait, are we discarding? Oh, for the figurehead. Ugh. Uh, Hardest Anomaly. Yeah. Wait, no, no, I, I didn't mean to discard it. Sorry. I yeah. didn't play it. Well, too late now. Okay. Because you could have played Carnist Anomaly and then played Flintlock and Cutlass. Yeah, well. There's nothing to be done about it now. I'm just going to go ahead and not talk for the rest of the stream. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm just going to enjoy my strawberry. I was just saying, well... Ugh, man, I don't have... to enjoy my strawberry, My helm! Sherry. My beautiful helm! All right. Me. I don't take the Christopher stands of using the rewind button. Just sometimes I'm like, sometimes I'm, I don't feel like doing it. Other times I like to give it over a hard time and go, there's no way to fix the problem. If only there was some way. You wish you should have a rewind button, button exemption. <laughs> I thought it was odd that you were telling me to discard Harnessed Anomaly, but I was like, okay. <laughs> I don't like that card anyway. <laughs>
kidding. Literally, I I don't understand idealist. <laughs> All right. Um, is there something I'm supposed to get rid of? Dover? Is your mic not working? No, I'm still here. Okay, I was asking you. Was there something, environment, I was supposed to get rid of? I don't remember. I don't know. I, I, I want to make, I want to make a... I just want to be sure about the decision we're going to make. I'm asking you. Knowing that there's no you. way to go back and reverse it. I'm, because that so was... let's see. That was a joke, Dover. It's called a joke. Sometimes we joke around. I Sebi? don't know if you remember that. Sebi? Mm-hmm. Let me, let me tell you a little bit something about jokes. Oh. That you have them? They're, um... Uh... This, I was, I was going to come up with a joke just now, but I got nothing. It worked out well. You did a okay. great job. Awesome. Hold on a minute. Let me just do it. There it is. Fine. Awesome. So, I I wish I could think of one of the the Yoda, the joke Yoda, but that's not my that's not my jam. So let's see here. Um, uh, okay. Radioactivist is terrible. Get, what is this aggressive, aggressive volunteering? volunteering? Is terrible. The foundry is terrible. The only not terrible thing up there is the training facility. Uh, whenever an environment target enters play, Akash Buddha regains hit points equal to the hit points of that target. You could get rid of that, I suppose. The which one? Uh, allies of the Earth. Oh, I didn't even see that. I wasn't even looking at that. Ew, I don't like that. Yeah, we're that's scared of that. If I can. Yeah. Yeah, let's get this out of here. Goodbye. I don't like this. I don't like healing when it's not involving our people. I mean not th I mean not that it could heal anyway, because you keep throwing that umbral siphon at him. But I guess this frees up your options somewhat. That's true. That's true. Probably wanna play a card. Yeah. Maybe throw a skiamaki at it. When target deals itself one psychic damage, no melee damage. Eh. Actually wait, no, that It's not oh. really it's okay though, because I like to think it's gonna be dead soon. Just let it happen. <laughs> funny joke. <laughs> it's not. It's not funny. Funny not. joke. Bad to the bone. Okay, there we go. 
Want a second opinion? You're also lazy. Wow, spoil for choice. Um, I yeah, you got a lot of really I good options here. Heal people is the situation. That immunization would be fun. That's what I'm thinking. Doctor Medico deals each hero character card other than himself one irreducible energy damage. Targets dealt damage this way are immune to damage until the start of your turn. So we're gonna probably do that. Intensive care, Medico. Uh, deals himself two energy damage. Hero other than Medico deals against two hit points. The next damage dealt to that. No, no, no. Regeneration, we already did. Second opinion. Yeah. That way, immunization will, like, protect us from anything the environment throws at us, plus anything... I already play a card. <laughs> I'm confused. Actually, wait. At the start of your turn, draw two cards, use a power, and destroy this card. Oh, so, yeah, yes. you get a free power use. Oh, and then I'm gonna use his healing pulse. Healing for everybody! Everyone um, who matters. Yes. Yeah. Hit everybody. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna skip this. Yeah, they they don't like each other. <laughs> oh, I can't use healing pulse again. Right. That's fun. Um... Oh god, highbrow. Yeah. <laughs> highbrow uh, Street! Highbrow Street! How did you know? That thing is disgusting. Well, if we can 29 hit points, this lady. I don't know if you want to do anything else. Um, I mean, I guess Probably Medico... Not, I guess Medico could discard something and... I don't know. Well, I suppose Dr. Medico could do that. Uh, probably discard the second, second opinion. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, you... Only chance for you to punch him, mainstay. I'm gonna use it on this man. Yeah, bring it on, stupid lightning nonsense. Watch as you hurt, like. <laughs> one person. Oh, ouch. Whenever a non-subject target is destroyed, this card regains two hit points. That's stupid. At the end of your iron turn, this card deals... Ew. Oh, we don't have to worry about him for all that long. Alright. Okay, uh, skip this. I'll discard... This for the cannon portal. Oh, run aground. Is that actually helpful? Um, skip, I guess.
Um, I'm gonna draw a card. Thank you. Now that um, the game is over, basically, I'm going to... Wait, what is in... Six equipment cards in the trash. Eh. I'm putting this out there because I want it. Get, I, oh, the figurehead. I guess combat timing. Kids, like, can I play my card now? Okay, um... There's, yeah, there's something I, I don't like about Concordant Helm, and I think I just figured out what it is. Look how it's shaped. How is that supposed to fit on anyone's head? Is there a cricket sound on your soundboard? <laughs> That's the closest I could get. That's this is good. Is you tried. You tried. It was at uh when Joel Hodson was doing magic and um Yeah, go for that mountainous carapace. Mm-hmm. Well, what's on the bottom of my deck now? If it's still Concordant Helm, then I don't want it. Yeah, I don't need it now. Mm. Skip, maybe, because... The more... Well, this gives me more discard use... fodder. I can discard it. Okay. Card from hand under a concept in play. A friend of mine literally made that actual Helm mistake last night. <laughs> oh. That's no good. He got himself good. Okay. Discard that. Discard that. No playable concepts. Um... <laughs> Get rid of you. <laughs> Disgusting thingamajig. Oh, that's not good. I might have made a horrible mistake. Uh... I think it'll be okay. Maybe. I think I've done a like I I did a I did a real bad. I think it'll be okay. It's gonna be fine. I did some real bad, man. It's gonna be okay. Char, why are you back? That's my biggest concern. Oh wait, never mind. Never mind, we win. <laughs> Bye.
And there you have it! Great job! <laughs> you know... Looks like she really so wanted to play her bad card once. What's that? Oh, sorry. Say that again? Yeah. Some days, I just have to, like, I have to step back and tell myself that I, I, I'm not that good. But when I, when I really think about it, when I'm really honest with myself, I am that good. <laughs> I'll be back, though much smaller! <laughs> Okay, it's 8.07. Yeah. I've had my chocolate-covered strawberry, and I'm feeling saucy. Oh. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Bring out the same team. Oh, God. Oh, I'm, like, clicking on heroes, and it's, it's already on that screen. All right, mobile defense platform. Oh gosh. Oh, there it is. Baron Blade, that's right. Baron Blade speed run. Okay. No thinking, just playing savvy. Oh God, I'm not good at any of those things. Oh, I'm just gonna click onward. We don't have time. We don't have time for reading. Quick, take time. Get rid of that backlash field. I'm I'm not there yet. I don't care. Fast forward. Why are you I'm there yet? I'm trying to fast forward. Good grief. Savvy. Like a million cards all of a sudden. I'm fine with this. It feels a little weird to have a mobile defense platform on mobile defense platforms. I agree. You know what? Like, the mobile defense platform is the really big one, and then the mobile defense platform is the slightly smaller one that Baron Blade stands on top of, and the platform bot is the tiny one that... Right. Seems good. Uh, yes. <laughs> no. Okay, conceptualize. Search for a deck for Unity's concept. Unity's platform yes. bot brings him drinks. <laughs> Atop his moderate personal platform aboard his larger crude platform stage. These are all great things. Experimental medicine. Too late. Healing <laughs> pulse. Healing pulse. You're good. You're good. Too late. No I already thinking. did. I'm not allowed to think, Dover. But savvy. You told me. You're, you're, no you're thinking. You're doing what I told you. You're doing exactly what I told you. Um. Uh, confirm. I don't know. Who's it? Who's not? Nobody's involved? taking damage yet. Skip. It's fine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Hardest Anomaly! Play all of them! Uh... La Commodore! Does she even have cards in her trash? Oh, I guess she did. Ew, bring Play a card! Order. Hardest Anomaly again! Uh, 
uh, I don't know, this. I don't know, this. What's going on? I don't know. I'm, you told me not to think, I'm just clicking stuff. Cool. Play card. Maria Helena's plot, I guess. I, you know. Well, I could have used the gun. Oh, well. Who cares? Using the future tech gun on the, what do you call it? On the mobile defense platform would have been weird, Savvy. That Hit the blade battalion. Um, okay. I don't even know what Brig Teleporter does. I'm not allowed to read it, though. Well, it's, uh, it, uh, deals damage to a thing. And then after you deal the damage to the thing, uh, it, as long as it has five or less hit points, it can't deal damage. Sounds great. So now the Blade Battalion can't deal damage. Oh, good. It's unfortunate for them. Yeah, it's, you know, not a great deal for them, but it's a super great deal for us. I like good deals for us. Yes. Oh, hey, this is my turn. Oh, gosh. Yes, um, it is. I'm so sorry. Hey, don't worry about it, man. Uh, is this the thing that I did the other time? Yes, it is. Uh, mobile defense platform. This backlash field is dumb, and we don't want it. Uh, I think I have to destroy the cloak, right? Yes, you do. I'm not allowed to read, so I gotta. I but gotta immediately pull that. get it back. Yeah, I gotta pull that from my memory. This is no, what I want no, you to do, Sadie. No, no, no! I clicked the wrong thing. Well, quick, go back. But, I, but we're not allowed to. Sadie, go back. We are. We are. We're oh, allowed okay. to use powers. Just don't. I clicked. I clicked. I meant to click trash, but I clicked. I was trying to click fast. I guess lessons learned. Sadie, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. <sighs> this is the only time it will ever be okay. I blew it. Okay, board now is gone. Giant Fluid Cathead is gone. Um, no playable concept. Uh, 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 you, get get out there. Blade Battalion Healthcare should cover a lot because Baron Blade. <laughs> because Baron Blade. I wish I had that tiara back. A tiara would be nice. Is it in your trash? It is not in play. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I don't know. Heal my lady. Make it happen, Captain. I did. Maybe I should have healed Baron Blade. No, you no. Don't don't do that. Do the opposite of that. Oh. Okay, so that propulsion system still don't, don't let that die. The propulsion system. Oh. Um. Quick, check the bottom of your deck. Oh wait, no. Uh, uh, temporal rigging. Get rid of that. Or combat timing. Either one. Wait, for what? Or the future tech gun. This is for the brig teleporter. I or want... you could let the brig teleporter I was die. Gonna say, I, don't I, don't, I don't like this thing. I want it gone. I don't know why. Cool. It makes me grumpy. Um... Do you know what's at the bottom of your deck? Uh, a future tech gun. Eesh. Yeah, well, I could weigh, I mean, I could weigh anchor just for the heck of it. Ow. 
I'm glad you're eating something too. It's important to keep your strength up. You use that on quiet night to get oh, it's the my turn. systems. Oh, it's it my is. turn. I will. I'll do that. I'm not used to being bright. I'm so confused. Um, um, um. Draw a card. Draw. Umbral Siphon, I like that. I know what Me that too. does. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. I know what that does. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking, Citizen. Thinking it's harder than the verse. Well, it's I don't un, I, I'm super unfamiliar with Ride, and not it's been a long time since I played Medico, so the only one I'm mostly comfortable playing is La Commodora. Yes, this is me. Don't think let's play cards when I'm the one playing the ones that you don't really need to think about. Yeah. That's the scam. Nobody's hurt right now, really. Yeah, throw that mutagen out there next time. I will try. I will. Celebrate good times, come on. Ah! Told you we don't want the backlash field. Huzzah! Uh, draw a card. I need, do you want me to hit the shield generator? Uh, sure. I mean, why not? Reduce damage. To, yeah. Okay. Let's stop dealing damage. Yeah. Let's not hit ourselves. Wait, what's on the bottom of my deck? Hold on. I don't know. I'm gonna I look. don't know. I'm not supposed to be thinking, but this is important. Uh, bottom of your deck, harness anomaly. Um. It's up to you, man. Well, uh, move it to your hand. Uh, at the end of your turn, reveal the top card of each hero deck. If the reveal card is a one-shot, play it. And, okay, well, this if we're idealist. Ever, <laughs> if we're ever gonna do it, this is this is the time. This is the kind of game you want to play a card like that. <laughs> Go ahead, you try and hit me back. Okay. Uh. 
Alright. Not the speediest of speed runs, I'll admit. But you know what? I know. Well, these are not this like, like speed. We should have picked different, like easier or like more simpler uh, character characters I was more familiar with, or like less complicated characters. Look, savvy. Hi, that's me. It's the only way you're gonna learn through repetition. In speed runs. Yes. Oh. Okay. Wait. Deals. Two melee damage or destroy a target may say deals one target three projectile may say. if not destroy an environment card. Haha. -ha. Get out there. What? Oh, he's he's dealing backlash damage to you. Oh, skip. That's rude, backlash field. Super rude. Uh, okay, the tiara, that's coming out. Hey, you wanted uh, that, and your dream came true. It's true. Um, 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 um. Just trying to super ego. The end of your turn. Okay, so cool. I'm, I'm all set up. Um. Double the robot, double the fun. Exactly. you, man. Mm. I said... Um, I just healed everybody up, all those hit points, and you just took them away. Uh, that's really rude. Okay, there we go. What does this do? 
Let's play your mage, destroy any of your equipment cards. Baron Blade deals each hero target X lightning damage. Eh. How many are in play? There are 13 hero ongoing or equipment cards in play, so he's dealing us all 16 points of damage. Yeah, that's... yeah. Alright. That didn't seem Okay, right. wait, maybe that was a... That's yeah. fine. It'll be alright. Uh, skip. So, I'm keeping those. Uh, let's see. Idealist. Uh, get rid of the robot that's not helping. Uh, skip. Uh... What does Medico have? I don't even remember. You know what? Never mind. Let's just take it. Let's just take it. Fortune favors the bold. He's only got nine. I mean, he's got that. He's got that, uh, what do you call it? Backlash field. That's unfortunate. But you know what? We've got something he doesn't have. Guts. <laughs> Oh, hey, take time. We can get rid of the backlash field. <laughs> take away his only remaining advantage. Wait. Um, I'm thinking way more than I should be. Was I supposed to get rid of the backlash field? That... Doesn't matter, he's dead. I'm sorry. It's like, take time. That was me. That was me, guys. I'm looking at the hammer going, that was that was supposed to be my plan. That was supposed to be me. And we all survived, and that's the most important part. That's correct. <laughs> well, some thinking might be okay, but also I did the wrong thinking. So. Well, technically that's on me. I told you not to think at all. That's true. But then I did. I, li I didn't listen to you. No. So. That's my fault. But also, I hope that mobile defense platform doesn't fall out of the sky. Yeah, Baron Blade, there was one game he wrecked our lives pretty bad. Yeah. Pretty bad. Yeah. Was that the one where we, it was like one per one hit point left, and we he hit like all of those um, haste and dooms like two in a row or something? No, like every haste and doom, and uh, consider the price of failure or whatever. Like every one that he had played like immediately one right after the other. So it uh, went great. We I think we did win that. We did, with like one hit point with one character, I think. Yeah, that wasn't, yeah. That was unfortunate. But we did it. But yeah. Um, speaking of doing it, we have finished this episode. Therefore... Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this uh, episode of On Deck. Uh, come back next, this coming Monday. Even though it's April Fool's Day, we are doing an episode at 7pm Eastern Time. Uh, maybe the joke will be on you <laughs> if you show up for Sibling Sentinel's shenanigans. By the way, um, as, as far as that rather rough game went, it's not easy having a good time. Tim Curry reference. Mm. Bang. That's uh, if you want more exciting Handlobber programming, tune in to this channel on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time where you'll find Handlobber Live. Join game developers John and Jeremy for Sentinels, One Deck Dungeon, and more, including updates about their newest title, Aeon Send, and all sorts of Oblivion nonsense. <laughs> uh, Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, dive deep into strategy with Dolphin, uh, Lou Dolphin on Dolphin's Dive, where he plays Sentinels of Multiverse and One Deck Dungeon. 
Uh, Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Zach from Another Letdown Media hosts Tales from the Archive, a show in which he uses Sentinels of the Multiverse to tell some fun and exciting stories. If you would like to see more of me, Pirate Savvy, you can find me on my channel at twitch.tv slash piratesavvy, and you can otherwise find me on Twitter at twitter.com slash piratesavvy. This week, uh, my next stream will be Friday at, I believe, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, it's going to be a co-op stream uh, with my beautiful friend and stream wife, Marvel Maven, and our two friends. Uh, we're we're, we're going to multi-stream, and then... Uh, joining us will be Samson 9091 and um, Broadzilla 86, and we're going to play Anthem. So That sounds cool. It'll be an interesting time where you watch me fail to fly and slam into mountains and buildings, and it's going to be good. It's, it's great. I've heard a lot of talk about Anthem, and, like, the flying aspect, see, like, from what I heard, the flying aspect was, like, the, the most impressive part of it. Yeah. I mean, I've heard other things, but I'm not going to talk about them here. I I think a lot of people expected some. I don't want to like get in. I mean, we can talk about it Friday, but like I think a lot of people expected one thing and got another, and a lot of people really wanted it to be like Mass Effect or Dragon Age, and that's not what this game is meant to be. So um, I like it. It's not my favorite game, but I love playing it with my friends. So it'll be a good time on Friday. <laughs> Sentinels of the Multiverse was created by Greater Than Games and adapted to the digital games. If you're looking to pick up the super fun game for yourself, Sentinels of the Multiverse is currently available for iOS, Android, PC, Mac, and Linux, all via Steam, and as always, via good old-fashioned kind of analog cardboard and ink. You can get the game and more information at sentinelsdigital.com. Alright, thank you guys for coming out tonight. We will see you um, Monday at the normal time, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to stay at the normal time for the foreseeable future <laughs> until until uh, the time is which when we can't. <laughs> so I will, uh, I'll see you guys, anybody that comes by on Friday, I'll see you on my channel, otherwise we'll see you back here on Monday at 7pm. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Peace! <laughs>